Many of our users end up in a situation where they have too much stuff to fit on a single PowerPoint slide. After this realization, the natural thing to do is to cut it into more than one page. The most common scenario is presented here, where the visual has lots of activities and milestones and ends up creating a very tall chart in one pager and will eventually need to be cut into several pages vertically. To begin the process of dividing the pages, you must first make some modifications in the Project View properties. The first setting to visit is in the Page Layout tab called Page Size. One pager uses a standard PowerPoint slide size of 10 inches wide by 7.5 inches tall, so you need to set your width and height to match. This will ensure that the images that are placed into your PowerPoint slides during the export match the size of the slides exactly. If the dimensions are smaller than your PowerPoint slide, then the images will fit further and further within the slides themselves. Conversely, if your dimensions are larger than the PowerPoint slides, for example, 14 inches wide by 10 inches high, then you will inevitably have to manually scale the images in the new PowerPoint document, like so. In this example, after the export, and this can be a pain. After modifying the page size dimensions, click OK in your Project View Properties. Now it's time to tinker with the page breaks. Click over into the Page Layout tab on the ribbon toolbar, where you'll start in Normal Mode, which is the default. In the Document Fitting settings, change the height from one page to Automatic, then click into Page Break Mode by pushing the Page Break button. At this point, you'll notice that you can see page watermarks and dash marks to illustrate the page breaks. It sort of behaves like Excel does in this same situation. In automatic height, page breaks appear in certain locations based on the page size dimensions you had chosen before for output, that being 10 inches wide by 7 point inches high, in combination with the dimensions of the one pager document itself. However, you can drag the page break lines where you wish with a left click and hold and drag. Or you can insert page breaks with a right click manually. Once you've eyeballed it, go into print preview mode. Here you will see how well your images are filling out your slides. My example is currently very nicely fit, but if I tell one pager I want four slides instead of automatic, then drag my chart wider, like so, my pages will turn out short and squatty, which you can see when I go to print preview mode. Notice how there is now lots of white space at the bottom of each page. This is why I said earlier that it's time to tinker. During this exercise, you're trying to find the right shape for each page so that it best will fill out your slides. You'll have to flip back and forth between the page break mode and print preview mode to figure out what works best. There really isn't any magic formula other than eyeballing it. Once you're ready, click File, Export, Send to PowerPoint. Make sure though that you have the All Pages radio button selected in the Page Range option to the right. If I now open my newly created PowerPoint document, it looks exactly as I expect it would. For more information, please visit our support page at onepager.com forward slash support. Or you can email us at support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.